I'm enjoying that song a little bit too much. Okay, I'm going to try something different, y'all. This is for all 12 Zodiacs. If you got Pisces, Taurus, or Capricorn in the planets that I'm about to say, or if they're in your chart, don't worry about the planets because I know y'all, some y'all like, oh, God, here she go with these planets. But it's necessary to know this stuff because it helps to know, it helps to gauge what's going on with you emotionally, what's going on in your life. And, you know, we're on one accord. This is one planet. So it helps you to know how to navigate through life for real. Because other people are going and dealing with the same things, even though it's in a sign that they may not be or may not have in their birth chart. You just get through in that shit by default. Clearly, people are dealing with third and seventh house issues. Social media ruining marriages. Uh, third house is your ideas, so short-term thinking and trips. So they ain't thinking. Short-term thinking and trips. This that old fish booty shit, cheating and shit. Who or what is around you? Who or what is around you? So people starting to look around and see who they with and who they supposed to be with. Who and what is around you? Wake up. Wake up, everybody. No more sleeping in bed. By making the right connections, the idea in question, get your ideas going. The third house rules Wi-Fi, too. It ain't going to hide from me because I'm going to find out. They doing something cheating and shit on that. Or trying to make y'all, trying to test to see if y'all cheating. You know. If a motherfucker telling you they ain't on social media, then a motherfucking lie. And if they lie about some shit like that, who ain't leave their ass in that dirt? Ain't nobody got time for that shit. Who got time for that, do y'all? I want to know who got the time. Because I'm going to tell you right away you don't. Uh, third house. We going with Jupiter. This is what popped, y'all. All these planets pop, planets pop. So my ancestors want me to deal with this. Jupiter's, Jupiter rules 666. So you can say the devil is all up and through Jupiter based off of the fact that it got lovers there. You got good luck there. You got career choices there. It got expansion there. It got growth there. It has high vibes there. But it also has people that do the work there. But those people aren't, you know, you're going to have a lot of scamming going on. While Jupiter is in Pisces. And it's in Neptune. Tricky, funny business, honey. Neptune rules. Endings, end of an era, imagination, illusions, dreams, new beginnings, darkness, ideas, non-attachment, meditation, water, past lives. Those are gone. Past life, this she did is fuck. If you get with somebody in your, from your past life, man, get ready to go through some karmic shit. I'm just telling you. Because they ain't been doing no work. Did you hear what I said? Get ready to go through some karmic shit because that past life shit is dead. We're in the age of Aquarius, honey. Ain't nobody got the time. Past lives ain't nothing but a distraction, honey. I got that little spicy attitude from the little girl. <laughs> the little girl. <laughs> the little girl. I be channeling all kinds of people when I like what they do. <laughs> the little girl. Little girl in the daycare, sick of all you and all these kids, honey. <laughs> That's my girl. <laughs> That's my girl. Neptune on here is sacrifice. I'm telling y'all, if you meet a motherfucker and it's a familiar energy and you feel like it's a past life shit, it could be your twin flame all day long. You're about to be dealing with confusion regarding. You're about to be dealing with sacrifice. You're going to get stuck in idealization, which means you're going to get stuck in Neptune, dreaming of the life that y'all could have once had. And you, yo, oh, oh, y'all see where I'm going with this? Yielding is the only way. That means it ain't going to go quick. Yielding is the only way. It's like trying to go at a cross, you know, cross section, and it ain't your turn. You got to wait. Be prepared to sacrifice for. Oh, you gonna, but you're going to inspire others. Man, I know you lying. I know you lying. No, enough of that shit. It's enough people with enough stories to it, honey. Just go 
to the under the whatever that soft white underbelly, honey. It's enough stories on that planet, honey. We don't need no more fucking bad stories, honey. We don't need no more inspiration. We got enough people if they would just open their mouth and tell what they've been through and stop pump faking like they got it going on 24 hours a motherfucking day. Then, you know, we don't need all that. We don't need all that. We got enough story time. We got enough story time. We got enough people with story time to, you know, inspire. Aquarius, no, Uranus. Taurus is in Uranus. Pisces is in Jupiter and Neptune. Uranus is a gateway, 888, liberation, inspiration, ancestors, social network, valor, fixed, brave hearts, Aquarius age, music, originality, agape love, esoteric. So with that, because it's ruled by Aquarius and then it's in Taurus. I like the fact that it's in Taurus, but hell, if it was in its natural placement, Aquarius, it'll also be fixed. So it really wouldn't even fucking matter. I like the fact that it's in Taurus. It's in Taurus for a minute, like to march or some shit. However, I like the fact that it's there because Taurus is also collectively in the North Noi. So we going up. You know what I'm saying? Stir up the situation by using you got to be careful with crazies because it's crazies. Y'all do know that, right? Be open to new ideas about. Don't be too open. You know what I'm saying? We're in a transitional phase from Piscean age, from Neptunian type of vibes to Uranian type of vibes. Invent a way to. You got to invent. It's inventor's time. I want to put, I wanted to put, um, I had a, I had a candle to burn for um, Madam Auntie Madam C.J. Walker because she really the one that gave, gave me this original idea. Not all of it, but she started me off with bracelets and then it just snowballed out of control because I asked her to help me because I knew she was an inventor. But anyway, I was going to light her candle. I'm not hoping to tell me to light it because she's so sweet and she just don't want to be bothered with all this shit. Um, Capricorn is ruling Venus and Pluto. Okay. Venus, of course, love planet, the attraction of pleasure from good times, cherish, joy, charm, art, and beauty are the way too. So if y'all got a Capricorn, y'all more than likely won't make union. I'm just being honest. Based how this set up, maybe when Venus comes out of Capricorn, Capricorn comes out of Venus. And I think January 2nd. Yeah. It come, I think it come out of Venus. Um, I think it comes out of Venus January 2nd. It's also in Pluto until March. So the need for control of. They ain't gonna be they, they ain't gonna be able to do that. They're gonna get a rough lesson in that. They're gonna get a lesson if y'all dealing with Capricorn energy or y'all got Capricorn in y'all chart. Y'all gonna feel the need to control who y'all attracted to. Y'all gonna feel the need to control where you get pleasure from only because you've been in Venus for a minute. So you gotta make the shift. You're gonna wanna have to try to control good times. So you're gonna be the drag at the party. So they may be want to fall back for the winter and just go hermit mode so you don't end up, you know. Because sometimes you can feel like, man, oh, I ain't. Sometimes you feel like celebrate, you don't even know why. Well, guess what? Capricorn is in Venus. Charm, art, beauty, good times, pleasure, fucking who you want to, kicking it, da, da 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 I bet you a lot of Capricorns are burning out on pleasure right now. They burnt out on it or they burnt, they kind of looking around like, what the fuck I've been doing? Can not shit? Money might be show, show, can not shit? Because you've been in Venus. Now you're in Pluto for a minute in its resurrection. Get to the heart of whatever the matter is. Do or die. You must. That's not no game. Pluto rules Scorpio. So Capricorn about to feel what Scorpio is usually go through. A power struggle. An obsession with. So, woo, 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 please, God. If they ain't anything, if y'all ain't anything playing around, you know, 
Because you think you found you a good one? They're going to be obsessed. They're going to have an obsession with y'all based off of how y'all are positioned. You got to think about it. If you're a Capricorn, you're going to come off as a Libra, Taurus, or a Scorpio. But really a Scorpio because y'all out of Venus January 2nd, but you're still in that bitch. Okay? So the lovey-dovey shit that y'all usually ain't for real. Because y'all more aloof. Got to see what's going on before you just, you know, let loose. Some of y'all may have let loose and y'all go get some obsessive people. People that get obsessed from how y'all act. How y'all were acting when Capricorn was in Venus. But y'all ain't y'all act like how the natural placement, Saturn, Father Time, serious about the business. I did not come here to play. <laughs> Where <laughs> Father Time, Father Time got a break in Venus. If you got a twin flame that's a Capricorn, it really dogs you. I ain't trying to shit on y'all or nothing. I'm just telling you how this shit is set up. They having a good time with another bitch or a few bitches. But they ain't coming for your ass. You would, they would be ready to run to you once Capricorn either leave out of Pluto or let's say around February or March. If y'all ain't heard from them, it's because they having a good time. They ain't thinking about your ass. However, or, or it could go like this. They're obsessing about you while trying to have a good time with somebody else and they don't understand why. And it's because they're in both Venus and Pluto at the same time. They just come out of Venus when, um, you know, when their time is up, but they be in Pluto longer. So all the people they was partying and bullshit with, all the men, women they were sleeping with, all that shit. Some of the people they ain't gonna want because Capricorns will cut you loose and won't watch their body drop. They work a lot like Virgos. Virgos is real cold. When they done, you know, ain't trying to be funny or nothing, but we had a good time. It's time for you to go now, kind of shit. They're going to end up ending up with some obsessive people. And people that want to control them. We got to get to the heart of this. Why are you doing me like this? Ooh, honey, a power struggle between men and women all day long. Venus and Pluto? Oh, hell no, honey. They about to feel with Scorpio ass just be feeling all the time. And they rule genitalia, so y'all know. Capricorn's been fucking like a motherfucking nutcase. Uh, Venus rules Libra, rules Taurus. I told y'all, but then I knew that. It's a cardinal. It's a cardinal energy. Foundations, strength, solid, firm, love, water, family, pregnancy, communication. So. I wouldn't be surprised if you know, they end up with some babies. Capricorns that are pregnant or getting people pregnant. If they don't know themselves, you know. And if y'all know, that's why I'll be like, why don't you just share it? But some women don't want their men to know they lick their tear roll. I don't know why. But they, if they don't lick a tear roll or they don't have no knowledge of self, they're going to be either having a baby or... Uh, handing out babies, okay, with people that they will always be in a power struggle with, with people that always feel the need to control them, with people that's obsessive, with a do or die, you must. So that's a go down to child support. I mean, just you it's a headache. It's a headache. Get to the heart of, always want to get to the heart of stuff. Sometimes it ain't got nothing to do with the baby kind of shit. Cause you ain't gonna want to be with a lot of these people that they end up having babies with. See what I'm saying? Shit is terrible. It's terrible. When I say terrible, it's it's placement. But Capricorns is fucked up. I usually deal with Scorpio. Scorpio. Change healing. Pluto rules change healing. Organization, society, strongholds. You see? You see? Transformative, compulsion, obsessive thinking, morality. They more than likely lost their morality because they didn't know what they sound with their Venus. They was just having a good time. Pleasure. It's a pleasure principle in Venus. It is. Venus rules love, romance, soul flames, 
attraction. See what I'm saying? If y'all in a twin flame union, they with somebody, but they think about you obsessively, but they don't understand why. And they feel the need to control y'all life. But then in y'all life, they have a blast with other bitches and men or whatever. But for some reason, while they with the people they with, they be having you on their mind. Like they got to get to you. They hard to get to you. It's crazy. But they don't get to you. It's crazy. Crazy, crazy. Huh? <laughs> for real. <laughs> what else, Venus? Rule? Self-love. Enemies. Oh, Lord, honey. Protection and attraction, strong bonds. Agape. They're going to try to get y'all with the agape divine film. The unconditional love. They're going to try to get you off of unconditional love and strong bonds. They're going to try to get you off the twin flame. They're going to try to get you um, to help them with the protection work. They're going to try to get you by strengthening the bond. Cause they ain't, that ain't what they doing in Venus with these other people. They just having pleasure, attracted to them, got a big ass, you know, fuck, you know. Got a nice print in those pants, can I fuck? Kind of situation. But they're going to have to pay a piper this time. They ain't going to be cheers after they leave Venus. <sighs> Jupiter. Fame. Y'all already know. Fame and Neptune. What dreams is made of is Neptune. You give somebody fame, uh -uh, honey. then they supposed to be all we fame, fortune, good luck, big dreams, manifestation, star quality, philosophy, karmics, karmics, honey, baby, karmics. Y'all see that karmics? Recognition gotta be seen, gotta be seen. So. If y'all got Capricorn in y'all chart or y'all got a Capricorn twin flame, honey, they got some shit on their hands they got to deal with. Because, honey, the person that they're going to be ended up with, these people that they're going to end up having babies with and stuff with, even if they don't have a baby, they're just going to be obsessive. They need attention. They need recognition. Some of y'all dealing with a star quality, star quality people that's just, you know, supposed to be really famous for real. We got big dreams, all that success, all that shit, manifestations, all that star quality. They attracted so many women and men, Capricorns. Oh, especially we got Capricorn and Venus or Capricorn and Pluto. Honey, baby, get your life, honey. Get your life, baby. I'm trying to tell you because it ain't going to turn out pretty. Neptune, dark night of the soul, hidden mystery. See, you will be learning out. Ooh. Illusions, subconscious, dream state, manipulation, devil energy, cosmos, idealism, trauma. Is that trauma bonding shit? After, uh, after the, <laughs> after the morning, after, after the morning comes. <laughs> Cast down all imagination, honey. Imagination, psychology, Christ consciousness, shape shifting. Ooh, that's why I said. That's why I said, y'all. Look around. Where did they say that at? Invent a new way to Taurus energy, unexpected change, different way of looking at it. Be open to new ideas about no. It was when I seen. And here, the third house, where people having problems at. Y'all look in y'all third and seventh house to see if y'all got something in there. Who or what is around you? They're going to wake up and not know who in the bed next to them. And they could have been talking to the person for a year. I'm telling y'all, y'all got to get into these planets with me. I'll be trying... Not to go there, but when you go into up with the plants in the house, it just give you it give you the game on shit. You be like, whoa, buddy. <laughs> I ain't dealing with that. I ain't dealing with that. Pluto. Here we go again. Completion, societal views, treachery. 
end of a karmic cycle, ten of cups, and ten of swords. Solar system, air, water, moon phases are a factor. Entertainment, alchemy, and it's fixed. Highly metaphysical planet, Pluto. Hierarchies in government, Pluto. The Scorpio. Shit. If you're in the entertainment industry, don't add this to you. Because you're going to be in a situation with crazy motherfuckers and them babies. Always got to be pumping babies. And, man, shit. Let me see. What's this here for? Taurus. Uranus, I already see it. That, that's going into Aquarius age. I like the fact that it's fixed because it can get us the fuck up out of here, you know, out of this shit storm. The shift to get us out of this shit, you know what I'm saying? Taurus are childlike, fixed, interested. They run a cult. Taurus is with the hierophant energy. Stubborn, taboo, thinker, know it all, smart, calculating, strength. So they got a lot of qualities. And Capricorn with the calculating. Uh, Pisces. <laughs> Mutable, dreamer, wise, creative, sleep. REM sleep. They rule REM sleep. R-E-M. Groundbreaking. Transcendental meditation. Illusions. Witchcraft. They rule witchcraft. High priest. The dark night of the soul. Transmutation. They rule polarity. They're mutable. Comfort. Five, five, five. It's the number that I channel for Pisces. The numerology on it that my ancestors gave me. This was all straight off the top, y'all. Let me see. Who else we got? Taurus, we got Capricorn. Capricorn is calculating, wise, temperamental, sarcastic, moral, conscious, unimpressed, grounded, leader, smart, territorial, hard-nosed, loyal. I don't know how loyal they is over here getting, you know, don't stop, get it, get it. But these people are going to learn that these that Capricorns are unimpressed. That's what really be getting people, you know, that's what really messes people up with Capricorns because they unimpressed. You know, where you think you're the girl that had it the best or you think you're the guy that got it the best. They, 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 not, they run a lot like Virgo. Let's see. Virgo is mutable, service, hard work, observant, rigid, but flexible, observant, patient, impatient, patiently impatient. Nervous system, 666 for Virgo, too. Capricorn is on a 444. Foundation, 444. Virgo on a 666. Nervous system, picky, rule magician, rule magic. Hierophant is in the Virgo house. Instead of Taurus, my ancestors had me put Hierophant in Virgo house and a cult in Taurus. High standards. They like what they like, and they're intelligent. So Virgos are unimpressed, too, because they like what they like. You'd be like, damn, that's who she love, or that's who he love? And, like, and they'll be looking at you like, you want to get smacked in your face? Third house, communication, technology, cell phones. People going to be saying all kinds of shit. People's cell phones, telepathy. Going to be a lot of mind control, honey. Or people trying, neighborhoods, fights breaking out and shit. And couples fighting like crazy. It rules free thinker. It, use, it rules yang energy. So, man. Yeah. Seventh house. Libra rules marriage. Ooh, romance. Talking. Ooh, DMs gonna be found. Ooh, people gonna be getting in trouble. Hidden enemies. Old souls. Self-expression. Fun, loving, charming, clever. And it rules soul flames. It rules twin flames. And it's yang too. Damn. This is a man's world. This is a man's world. Man can't do nothing no more. <laughs> Uncle James. <laughs> man can't do nothing no more. You all, the seventh house, the third house fail. So this is going to be going on. Balance, cooperation, your partners. 
or uh, diplomacy, relationships, get a fair deal. Get a fair deal. If y'all in these stupid ass situations with these babies, daddies, and babies, mamas, get a fair deal is all I can say. Because, baby, they got to be so obsessed, especially if you are a Capricorn, Pluto, and Venus. Marriages, relationships. Ooh, honey, I can hear the whining and the crying now, honey. I can hear the who, who is this in your phone? Who is this bitch? Who you said? They don't care nothing about nothing. Honey, they're going to be out there mad. And it's all going to be based off of planetary aspects. It's true. <laughs> That's what make them important, you know? I was like, why y'all giving me all of these? They like, because of all the decks are going on. Oh, my God. Oh my God. Good luck out there. You're going to end up meeting somebody that's obsessed and possessive and don't want to let go and attach. And it's just not going to be good. It's just not going to be good. Especially if you've been in it for longer than six months to a year. I say a year. Um, six months? Huh? I feel like if you dated somebody three to six months and it didn't work out, even if y'all was intimate, I feel like if you're a good person and they're a good person, <coughs> it could go agape. It won't go treachery. But if you've been laying and playing with somebody for a little minute and they feel like, you know, um, oh, man. <laughs> Oh man, oh hell no, boy. Y'all done up and done it. Y'all done up and done it, Drake. Y'all done up and done it. <laughs> oh, for real. Come on. Everything don't have to end like a scary movie. You know what I'm saying? And some of them got somebody on their back leaning independent. I said this in another reading. Somebody is leaning independent on some of y'all divine masculines. This person is not thinking about this person. They're thinking about who they're going to. That's how Capricorns work, I know, without a shadow of a doubt. They don't, they not impressed. They understand how you feel. They're going to be the shoulder right there for you to cry on. But when they got to go, they're going to get up out of here. <laughs> Drink up be right on her forehead because he's going to move his back. You hear me? I'm trying to tell you. <laughs> no about them, man. If y'all got it in your chart in a Venus or a Pluto placement, baby, let me tell you. I pray y'all ain't got nobody on y'all back like that shit. So y'all divine masculine Pluto. Nipsey like, yes. Oh yes, honey. They gonna have a whole ass situation, honey. They gonna have a whole ass situation, honey. When I say a whole ass situation, a whole ass situation. For real. On the feminine side. They could be back out looking for a new love all they want, but they don't have self-love. So that's why they out looking for a new love. And that's what's going to make them turn and start talking back to this person. Does it matter if they're a Capricorn or not? I'm telling y'all what's going on with y'all divine masculines. They have somebody, if y'all in separation, they have somebody, whether they had a baby with them or not, that, is, that has gotten attached to them based off of that Venus-Pluto placement that they're unaware of, okay? The person can lead them all day long, like fuck him too kind of shit, but they don't have any self-love, so they're looking for a new love. The new love ain't going to be there, okay? Because the dating scene is real terrible, and they ain't going to find nobody that do it like they do it, candy shit. They're going to look back this way because of them meeting them at the time that the planets were in that fucking aspect. I don't know how long they've been in there, but I feel like they've been in there for a minute. Because I keep seeing Capricorn Venus. Like, damn, it's back in Venus. But it was, it was going in and out of Venus, if I'm not mistaken. It was going in and out of Venus for a little minute. Capricorn, which was shocking me. I'm like, why the hell? This is not a, it's, to me, it's not a normal placement. They too structured. You know, they not really, they romantic, yeah, but they, they be about the business, boys. 
they ain't about to be, they will, but not, not really, you know. This <laughs> shit, the men and the women, the Capricorn women be looking like this. What the fuck? Some Leos, y'all maybe with some Leos, y'all maybe with some Sagittarius. It's gonna be dealing with some trash, y'all maybe with some Pisces. It's gonna be dealing with some fucking trash. I'm just telling y'all, because I gotta get up out of here. Ace of Pentacles, when they should have just took their ancestors' blessing of you and got the fuck on. So now they gotta deal with this shit, man. This shit ain't no joke. And they can't even tell y'all the truth, honey. Some of y'all divine him looking like Rihanna. Why he get this person on their back? She thinks she got somebody new. Y'all know different, because y'all already know what the divine masculine be on, because y'all know that nigga kind of shit. Honey, baby. Y'all looking like y'all on the self love. Forget the new love. Because y'all ain't trying. Some of y'all don't want to get pregnant. Y'all just on self love. Y'all ain't looking for shit, but y'all go out, you know, have a nice little glass. If you trust the people, you got to watch this dude in the back, though. He might slip you a roofie. Somebody said they saw somebody putting something in that drink. Who the fuck was I sleeping heard that? Somebody caught somebody putting some shit in their drink. And they end up leaving their ass. I can't remember who the fuck told me that. I don't know if it was in a dream state. If I was in REM sleep. I cannot remember, but I know I did hear it. It was two people dating. And they asked her to go get them something to drink. And they caught her, caught the girl, putting something in their drink. True story. I heard that shit. I don't know if you all can shit on Facebook. Right. You all talk about, I'm going to bring it in and get some rest. <laughs> this is your best, Damn, really? Oh, it's a breakup, honey. It was a breakup, honey. It's a breakup, honey. Somebody broke up with the devil, honey. They said they sick of these people, honey. They kicking people to the curb like an umpire. That's the third house and the seventh house. Could have kicked three bitches to the curb already, honey. That place, man. But they ain't gonna stop them from, you know. But the man is a man. Be standing in his power. And they never met a man before. They might go the fuck here, though. But uh, if not, oh boy. Nightmare on his street like a motherfucker. The devil in reverse. Dang, I don't even got it in here. Oh, yes, I do. Bound to an unhappy situation, disillusionment, <laughs> that Capricorn, and that damn um, Pisces placement, and Neptune and Jupiter. That'll fuck you up, too. Make you think it's something what it ain't. You got to look at shit today. Because you'll be thinking you got one thing. That's why I said be real careful if you met your person after 2019. If you met your twin flame after 2019, look at him like re-looking over her glasses to make sure they worth the, what's coming along with that. Because they're coming with hella karma. So clean, I'm trying to tell you, it's an ugly situation. 3322 on the clock. Mind fuckery, manipulation, lack of discipline, making excuses for failures, avoiding shadow work. So that's basically what y'all will be dealing with if y'all had um, a Capricorn energy or somebody that may have had Capricorn in Venus or Capricorn in Pluto placement. Y'all will be dealing with a person. They don't have to necessarily be a Capricorn. I'm just saying that particular placement turns everybody into a fucking Capricorn. Just like it would turn every Capricorn into a Scorpio. Because they're in their planet. You see? Making excuses for failure. So these type of motherfuckers y'all be dealing with. He's talking about building something with now. Mind you, the Three of Wands is in reverse, which is a builder card. <laughs> this is supposed to be the expansion. Hey, you getting somewhere, but uh don't look like you're gonna make it to that fall, bruh. Avoiding shadow work. Pleasure principle. Just living it up. Overcome by dark energy. I bet. Overburden. Oh, really? Tell us more. Unaware of the times. Didn't I say that? They don't even know who they are. They don't know the time. They don't know that the Capricorn is in Venus and Pluto. They don't know that. Pisces is in Jupiter and Neptune wrecking shit, even if it's direct and not a retro. 
just more <laughs> illusions and fame and love. That's just how, tell me I'm lying. That's just how your social media timeline. Listen to me. Tell me if this don't match your social media timeline. Fame and love. love. <laughs> I be like, oh, this is just overload, right? Everybody got a platform. Everybody famous. Find me famous. Hey, uh, it don't matter what I do. Look at me with my tongue out. Uh, oh, I got 1.8 million followers. Thank you. Thank you. Kind of shit. Unaware of the time. Slavery. Bound. Spiritual blindness. You're blinded. You're blinded. <laughs> so far. So far, they blinded. They blinded. <laughs> look at them. You already know what that look mean. I told y'all motherfuckers. We weren't ready to see a black president. Although it seems heaven sent. <gasps> three wines in reverse. Three blind mice. Three blind mice. Self doubt. Lack of confidence. <laughs> Discourage. Oh, I mean, damn. Frustrations, treacherous, competitors, time for a vacation, disloyal business partnerships. I mean, talk about turn this sugar to shit. Just like magic. You hear me? Ooh, they got to get some rest, honey, because they know through these people, it's just nothing but complainers. And if y'all ended up with some, if y'all got a twin flame after 2019, that's what y'all going to be dealing with. Y'all going to be dealing with Ray. If y'all got a, if y'all met a male masculine energy that is y'all twin flame prior well after 2019 excuse me after 2019 you're going to be re-raising that man like he's your child that's what the divine masculine and some of y'all in separation with that y'all met 2019 and prior to 2019 that's what they're dealing with with women. That's why they kick it into the curb because it's like, give me, I need, uh, like this. So it ends up being everybody gets ghosted until somebody comes out pregnant. Then that person becomes the worst nightmare they ever, ever could have thought of. <laughs> Still, I see no change. Start with you, motherfucker. Right, Virgos. I'm going to tell y'all, all the signs that's in here on the sun side, and on the, I say star sometimes. Oh, Will of Fortune in reverse, honey. Ain't no sunshine when she's gone. Only darkness every day. Somebody trying to prove try to prove y'all wrong, but they I mean, what is that? They starting to see some of their immaturity, you know. Ain't no sunshine when she gone. Y'all may have told them y'all was a twin flame and they went around telling everybody y'all was crazy or played them like a game with their friends and mocked you and did all this shit. That's why the three of ones came up that they kind of scared to, to approach you. Didn't it say that? Self-doubt, lack of confidence, discourage. But they dealing with treacherous motherfuckers, disloyal people. They need a vacation. You think they're going to take one of these needy girls? They may go alone and get them some rest for sorts, you know? They're going to need it. They need it for more than, honey, the fire they was making, making it clap and everything else. It ain't fun, no. That's how the cookie be crumbling. Right, still not seeing no changes. It's crazy. Strokes of bad luck, <laughs> devastation, loss, world turned upside down, karma, unavoidable fate, pessimism, uncertainty, dark period, misfortune. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Believing some of y'all and going somewhere else, and trying to build something with somebody else, and it was a whole force and stupid situation, and wasting their time. Trying to be proven to y'all that they y'all weren't really they twin flame trying to save faces y'all was lying and they wasn't. I'm talking petty, baby. I'm talking, honey. honey come on now. 
Come on now. I know you ain't did all that for that. You can just show the truth, but that's how lies do. Lies get you all proud and tricked up. You know what they do. Drake lies and get you all fucked up. You ain't gonna tell the truth. People talk about Drake. Drake, be honest. You know, call me whatever. I look however. I'm telling you, I'm getting to you straight up how it is, bitch. So I ain't gotta retract and remember this lie and that every time. Huh? That shit trash, bro. Some of y'all like, get this bitch off your back, stupid motherfucker. You don't even want this bitch. What is you doing? Like, why would you even go and do that? Some of y'all feel like that. Well, I ain't seen it. Protect your heart, though. That's all I can say. Honey, baby. We can stop these because I start cussing. <laughs> Somebody mix it and <laughs> Somebody mixing and somebody scratching on the notepad, honey. I do not know who, honey. I do not know who, honey. Honey, ain't no honor among Steve, honey. Ain't no ain't no honor amongst people who don't have no self love, honey. The three of Pentacles. Oh, now they humble. They back been over. <laughs> they, they, they done planting seeds and women. Now they ready to get some land and get you to work. The man feeling ain't that a bitch? Where you was at? Where your ass was at? Where you was in Venus, nigga? <laughs> oh, no. You a Scorpio now. You a Scorpio now. I don't care what your sun sign is. You a Scorpio, nigga. <laughs> With the info, no. You know? And now y'all humble. She doing moon magic on them. Back in the same shit. The same fucking shit. That's what the bad luck is about. That's what the bad luck is about. Well, the fortune every first. Should have just stayed where you was at. So, but let me tell you something. And some of y'all divine females been looking just like this. Or divine masculines. If you got a twin flame and you in separation, she was some acting stupid, stuck on stupid, and paused on dumb. Y'all just keep on watering, honey. Keep on watering, honey. Because y'all ain't never got this high. And they back stuck up under a witchcraft lady. Because they want to prove y'all wrong that everybody ain't like that. Okay, but take your dumb ass. Now I'm like Cardi B. Take your stupid ass on. Star. Some of y'all are stars. Some of them are too. That's what comes right up on Queen Escalifa. Y'all two star qualities. Power couple energies. Two of Pentacles. Take control of the Two of Pentacles. Take control of the Two of Pentacles. Divine PCM. Divine Masculine is doing what y'all supposed to do and then ain't the one that started it. They was the one that want to be starting something. Y'all had a three of pentacles by yourself. With them, it would just be a baby on baby. One pentacle, one pentacle. Now they want to work together and cultivate something. Besides a baby, you know. Six of swords. Some of them, it's eating them alive. They like Tupac. They want to be, they just, they want to travel by themselves. They ain't even thinking. Sometimes they think about you divine them. They don't want to, though. Because they don't want to tell the truth of the matter that you was telling them people backstabbers. These hoes be doing this. They be doing that. Boom. Y'all gave, them, gave them the blueprint. But that was hell bent on proving you wrong. Okay? There ain't nothing you can do about that, honey. Because the truth needs no defense. You can go ahead and think somebody lying. Go and take your stupid ass out to your head on with the car DB. You know what I'm saying? Go the fuck you get out. Because you ain't going to do nothing but end up with a ten of motherfucking swords, stupid ass. And end up in a seven of swords. Just to look around. Just what the third house was talking about. See what's around you. Look around you. You know how I see how you looking around? What the fuck I'm doing here? How long have I been with this bitch? What's your name? You pregnant. Candy shit. Stupid as fuck. I told these people. Y'all got Virgo energy in here, Libra energy in here, Leo energy, Scorpio, Aries, Sag, um, Virgo, Pisces, Scorpio, 
Might as well say Ken Sheeran. Because mm -hmm. it's all about the money, money. I need some money, money. They married some of these people. Or considering it may have went down more rain. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. They're going to wake up at the last minute and say, oh, my God. Taurus, Capricorn, energies. That's, uh, you know, that's in this reading. Fighting, 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 fighting. Power struggle. Pluto. Scorpio. What are you here for, baby? <sighs> they ain't made no money since y'all divine fam. Just towers and towers and towers. Just like a maze. They think they made something? God, drop them down. They think they go somewhere? God, drop them down. They think they get up there? God, drop them down. They ain't, they ain't, they ain't make no moves. That's what they see up here. Two of Pentacles breathing out on your face. What the fuck you think? Y'all looking just like Rihanna. What you looking at me for? What you looking at me for? Mm -hmm. They want to be back. Oh, they want to be back like Bonnie and Clyde. You know what? If this don't humble a man or a woman, I don't know what do, honey. Because you, listen, either you don't have no self-respect or you got, you got humbled. Ain't no but two ways around it. Okay? If a motherfucker do you wrong... And that's it. And they know they did you wrong to the capacity where it ain't no coming back. I'm just going to say chalk it. That's how I know it's something twin flame. It's something highly spiritual, divine, because divinity was in one of those houses. Something ruled divinity that I looked at. It may have been Neptune. Where did I see divinity yet? Give me a minute, y'all. Devotion in the seventh house, cosmic order. Yeah, it's bigger than Nino Brown. Boundaries, meditation, marriage, balance, happy, devotion, loyalty, yin and yang energy, wisdom. Lovers and friends, basically, instead of uh, uh, romance and you know, stupid shit. Third house, since I'm on here, I may as well look for it to tell y'all what it hit for. Telekinesis. So they all up in y'all head space. Y'all feel like y'all can feel them breathing on y'all fucking neck. They can get room. They can get off that 5D. They got all the way to the 1 through the 7th dimension where the third house is concerned. That's what fell. That's what popped out of my deck. Emails. They can be finding. Oof. Therapy. I bet. Communication. And they may reach out, they may not, depending on how they pride set up their ego. If their ego is too big and it's still some work to be done, I do not know. I do not know, Divine Film. It just depends on how, you know, how bad it is. But clearly it's bad because I showed y'all that picture of them fighting, 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 fighting. And looking like blood was all over the damn place. Because they too flighty. For these women, they feel like they too flighty, they too non-attached. Neptune rules, end of an era, non-attachment, flighty. Karmic tie. And strongholds and Pluto. That's why that shit look like that. God damn. There ain't never soul ties. Just fine, fine, fine. Oof. Mmm. Mm. 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 Mm
had a pass like shit. Fall for that shit if y'all want to. I'm done. After my twin flame, I pass like, oh, if I smell some karmic shit, you out of here. You can think you the biggest, baddest motherfucker on the planet. You out of here in my world. And it take a mountain to move a Virgo once that man made up. And we mutable. We ain't even fixed. Y'all, I seen that divinity. I just don't know where it's at because you know why I don't know where it's at? Because they threw it away. They threw divinity away. They threw, that's what happened. Y'all told some of these divine masters that y'all was a twin flame. Y'all really was. It wasn't no lie. You wasn't selling no book tickets. It was certain things that had to happen on the cosmic order side that was bigger than them. But they thought they dick was bigger than God. And they didn't believe you. And they were going to go out here and get this one and that one and that one and this one. And they probably was told the same thing. And they probably start seeing something wrong. Okay, something wrong. Everybody's seeing them. They soulmate. Everybody's seeing them. This and that. What the fuck is this shit? You know what I'm saying? Before they know it, honey. Before they know it, down goes crazy. They end up with this candy shit about to walk down the aisle and may catch they self, may not, depending on whether they listen to people outside of themselves and tell them they shouldn't be with you. They should be with old girl candy shit. Because she's a shapeshifter. And she can shape into a church girl. She can shape into a Muslim. She can shape into a Buddhist. She can shape into whatever the fuck he need her to be to get that money, honey. And to get that penis on deck 24-7. You hear me? A lot of divine masculines have probably lost some hair, waking up looking crazy, don't know what the fuck hit him. It's really God. What is, what, what is the devil to God? What is this? What the fuck is that? And ain't doing it to R. Kelly. I'm saying, what the fuck is demonic energy to God? He don't care nothing about... He don't even care nothing. Where is Robert Kelly right now? And he ain't in there because of no white man. He in there because God is on his ass. Gotta be humble. That's why I said, I do not know how long it's going to take some of these divine masculines to get humble. Because they have to be humble by the mighty hand of God because their egos are just too out of control because these women pump their ego up to just... That's why they couldn't hear y'all. And they still was doing this kind of shit. Some of y'all trying to watch the moon cycles. Do certain shit for yourself, for your chakras, for your healing, to understand your lunar, you know what I'm saying? Make sure you ain't acting crazy. Get grounded. Do your detox bath. Do what you do. Okay? No, honey. They only watching to see when the fuck to do some spell work to trap his ass. With a baby. Fertility spells. I'm telling y'all, it's true. But, and now a lot of them looking sour in the face like Tupac. Because God is in control. That's who their real father is. It ain't Satan. They just went Satan's way. Sometimes God will just leave you to your foolishness. And Christianity, to call it a reprobate man. Just turn you over to a reprobate. Well, you you know, you don't know. You're stuck in consciousness. It isn't, it, you don't know you even exist. You know what I'm saying? That's the, this, this the bullshit. You can go to work. You can do all that. But you cognitive dissonance is really what a reprobate mind is. No room for expansion. That's why that three of wands came up in reverse. Because people ran out of time with doing their work. And everybody want to be a famous. And everybody want to be this and that. Y'all seen what uh, Jupiter and Neptune hit for? I just imagine a big ass elevator going, one going up to Jupiter, one going down to Neptune, one going up to Neptune, one going down to Jupiter. People just keep coming up, falling off. Like one hit wonders, but just a whole bunch of them. Because you get all these different platforms. Man, I'll be seeing something like, who the fuck is this? Damn, you finally came this too? How many followers? Oh, wow, honey. Wow, I see, I see. If people ain't able to maintain that shit, they're going to fall. Because they don't understand planetary nonsense. And they don't understand who they are for real. You don't need to know planetary nonsense. If you know who you are and you in tune and your intuition on 10 and your third eye activated and you're aware more than you're conscious. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you better be aware, okay? Leave that conscious alone because consciousness ain't nothing. But if your ass fall out today... If somebody punched you and knocked you out, they're going to put some shit under your nose and say, you see, conscious? 
You just a walking dead person. Consciousness ain't nothing. Conscious awareness is everything. You got both. You own like popcorn. Clearly, some of these people did not have conscious awareness because they keep getting in the same situations. No changes is happening. No changes occurring. No expansion is occurring because it's the pleasure principle. Eat, sleep, fuck, party, drugs. Eat, sleep, fuck, party, drugs. Eat, sleep, fuck, party, drugs. That's it. All day. Outside of what they do to get money, but a lot now, shit, you can get monetized to show that you eat shit, shit, sleep, and do drugs. Club, party, shit, eat, sleep, and do drugs. I mean, shit, you monetize it. Everybody watching you, you famous. Finally famous. Do you? But the shit that come along with that fame shit, and the shit that come along with that planetary aspect shit, and the shit that come along with being unaware, oh, baby, ignorance is no longer blissful. Ignorance being blissful is for babies only right now. I'm talking newborns. And sometimes they know a little bit more than the people holding them. Can't be shit. You know what I'm saying? No. Fresh off the press. You know? All right, divine film, divine masculine. Be careful. Guard your grill. Don't get caught up in no bullshit. Keep it tight. Keep it right. Stay prayed up. Keep your third eye on 10. Keep your grounding. You got to stay grounded. Don't do that third eye shit and you ain't grounded. Ground your energy. Ground your energy. Trees help you to ground. Concrete helps you to ground. Wood helps you to ground. Walking barefoot outside or in your house if it has wood floors helps you to ground. Certain crystals help you to ground, such as hematite. It will help you to ground. Okay? If you're sitting up there with a clear course, let me tell you, that clear course is a bad motherfucker. I put that motherfucker under some hot water, cleaning it off, because I put it in, in my water. Yo. Why when I turned it off, it burned the fuck out of me. It works like a, uh, you know how you hear, carry those hot packs? I said, ooh, this would be good in the time, like if you was in some, um, just say you was in your car, your car ain't had no heat, or you was in a situation where you needed some heat, like the heating pads, or even for your back or some shit. Clear quartz is a conductor. That one for the hell, and it held it for a minute. I had to lightweight hold it like a hot egg straight out of the water because it wouldn't stop being hot. I'm like, oh, really? Oh, this is how you get now? You really hold heat. So I held it for a minute. It still was hot. I'm like, oh, okay. So I know if I'm in a situation, I need to get clear quartz on some hot, 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 hot water and take it with me and stay warm wherever I'm at that I may be cold, you know. Y'all on them club scenes, y'all know y'all like to stand in them cold-ass lines, you know what I mean? But make sure you're paying attention like Reed looking over your glasses talking about. Because I told y'all, somebody put something in the man drinking, he was with her. I cannot remember who said that shit. Told her to get him a drink. She poured it, and when he came back, she was dumping some shit in there, like a roofie or some shit. And he caught her dead in the act. A woman doing this with a man. Yes. Like, what? Oh, inhabitation of devils. Love and light, y'all.